My name is Amani, daughter of Jaya Piratabha. I'm teaching in Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Kempas, Johor Bahru. I'm an English language teacher. The lesson today was created based on a 21st century classroom to instill 21st century skills. Firstly is communication. Communication is essential in 21st century where the economy is going to be knowledge based. So um, what has happened here, uh, what I have done is I have emphasised on the communication skills, correcting students' pronunciation as well as building their vocabulary using the government's um, tools, CDs, which is the OPS English CDs. In our last class, we studied about going places, about holidays. For this class today, we are going to move to the next lesson. But before that, you are going to form groups. What I would like you to do is, could I have a leader from each group to come in front and collect your cards? How about this island? This island? And the last group. Okay, representative, please distribute the cards to your partners, to your group members in your island. Now look at your cards. Every one of you should have one card. However, for today's lesson, you will be divided into 10 groups and there is only 10 states in this classroom. So you have your cards with you. Can you please hold your cards? That destination is in a state. So every state contains three destinations. So I would like you to find your group members and form your state. You can start moving now. Look for your state. Negeri Sembilan, Sabah, Sarawak. There should be three in a group. Okay, class, I believe that you have formed your group. Very good. Okay, just to make sure that you are in the right group, uh, look at the screen in front. I have put the answers on the screen. Johor, we have Abu Bakar Mosque, Cebu Island, Legoland. Perak, we have Bukit Merah, Orang Utan Island, the Leaning Tower, Kelly's Castle. Can I see where is Perak? Okay, very good. Next, uh, Selangor, we have Batu Cave, Sunway Lagoon, Sepang Circuit. Selangor, where is Selangor? Excellent. Malacca, we have Nyonya Museum, Jonker Street and Fort E. Famosa. Malacca, okay. Perlis, we have Grape Orchard, Museum Kota Kayangan and Gua Kelam. Now you're sitting in your group. What I would like you to do is allocate tasks among your friends. Make sure in your group you have a leader, a timekeeper and a technology expert. Have you decided? Yes. Okay, very good. Can I have the leader to come in front and collect materials from each and every group? For the next activity, sit in your groups. Look at the map that I have given to you. Class, now you are given 20 minutes to go out at the school compound and to scan the QR codes and complete the activity. We will move according to island. Can I have the first island? Second island, third island, you can go to your location, fourth island, you can start moving.
students have uh, used their mobile phones and um, gone around the school scanning QR codes, obtaining information and recording it into papers. Later matching it with the proper sign. That is the first part of triggering the schemata. Class, uh, you have gone and searched for the QR codes. For the next section, we are going to learn the proper pronunciation for the signs that you have read. What I would like you to do is look at your answer script. Please look at blind man crossing. Question number 11, blind man crossing. Nadira, Natasha, can you pronounce the word? Blind man crossing. Very good. Let's look at the proper pronunciation. Blind man crossing. I am going to play it again. Blind man crossing. Can we say it together? Yes. Okay, very good. One, two, three. Blind man crossing. Again? Blind man crossing. Blind man crossing. Very good. Shashi Kumar, yes. can you say? Blind man crossing. Very good. Let's look at the next sign. What is this? Question number six. six. Very good. It is question number six. No U-turn. Let's hear to the proper pronunciation. No U-turn. Again? No U-turn. Nadira Natasha, can you say the word? No U-turn. Okay, good. Next, we will look at this word. Stop. Let's listen to the pronunciation. Stop. Again. Shashi Kumar, pronounce the word. Stop. Thank you, Shashi Kumar. Next, we will look at the word. How do you say this word? T junction. T junction. Okay. Let's listen to the audio. T junction. T-junction. Again? T-junction. T-junction. One more time. T-junction. T-junction. Very good. Nadira Natasha, can you say the word? T-junction. Excellent. Shashi Kumar. T-junction. How about this word? School children crossing. Let's listen to this word. School children crossing. School children crossing. School children crossing. School children crossing. One more time. School children crossing. School children crossing. Excellent. Shashi Kumar, can you say the word? School children crossing. Excellent. Besides that, uh, I've also instilled the use of ICT. When I say the use of ICT, it's not about the teacher using ICT, but it is the students itself having a hands-on experience of using ICT, which is essential for the current era and the future where it is going to be knowledge-based and it has, it's going to be mobile education. Since you have been exposed to the correct pronunciation, you are going to do peer evaluation. So you should be sitting in pairs, determine your partner, who is partner A and who is partner B. Partner A, please raise your hands. Good. Partner B, raise your hands. 
I have given you a sheet of paper, peer evaluation. You are to evaluate your peers' acquisition on the topic. So the instruction is, please open the pink envelope. There's two decks of cards. One will be with partner A and the other one is with partner B. Partner A is going to flash the cards to partner B. And partner B is going to predict the sign's meaning. Do you understand? Yes. And you are required to record partner B's performance in the record sheet which I have given to you based on the rubrics. We are using the ADE rubric which you have used before in the previous lesson to evaluate your partner. If you have doubt, of course, refer to the audio. Are you clear? Yes. yes. Excellent. Okay, can you look at partner B? I believe you have written your names in the column provided, partner A and partner B. Partner A, open your cards, your flashcards. You are given 15 minutes to test your partner. Pedestrians crossing, is it the correct pronunciation? For the end of the lesson today, just want to go through what we did today, which is first we used mobile technology to obtain information. How many uh, road signs did we scan? 20? 22 road signs. And I believe that you have obtained the information accurately in groups. Next, you have matched 11 signs to its meaning accurately. Good job. Very good job. And lastly, in your peer evaluation, I could see majority of you have scored eight and above. So you have done a good job and you are in the right track. I will see you next class. We will continue with the same theme, moving to a different section. The QR code, which is related to their generation, which has created interest towards the learning. The next education resources which has been used is the Ministry's Ops English CD itself to enhance a student's pronunciation. In total, the lesson, the learning objective has been achieved.